Welcome back guys and I hope you and your family are keeping well um, now you're sent home yet again with all these Covid problems. So um, what I thought we'd do today is look at, at an experiment where we can um, measure the specific latent heat of vaporisation of water. So as a quick summary, um, I hope you remember that latent heat is the hidden heat that you feed into materials to change their state without any change in temperature. And the specific latent heat of vaporization is specific to one kilogram. So we're going to look at how much energy is needed to change one kilogram of water at its boiling point to one kilogram of steam at the same temperature. So let's look at the experiment I'm going to use to do this and um, I'm sure other people have done this before but it's, it's, I sort of think it's an invention of mine. Uh, we're going to use a heater and that heater will just be a sort of jug kettle. So here's our kettle, I'll just draw it fairly quickly. And the problem with kettles is they turn off um, when they uh, start boiling. Um, so we're going to leave the lid open. So it's equivalent to a pan on the stove with water boiling away when you make um, rice or you make pasta. And in the bottom of that kettle will be an electrical heater. And uh, theoretically, um, though it kind of assumes it's DC, but we can use RMS values with the AC, if we measure the potential difference and we measure the current, in other words, uh, we've got um, the voltage and the amps, and we multiply those two together, we can get the power. But written on the bottom of this kettle is its working power. So we'll go for two kilowatts. Okay, we may not be about, um, we know, may not be exactly right, uh, but it will do. Now we better remember to put some water in. So there's our water. And it doesn't matter how much water we put in as long as the kettle's sort of half full or something like that. And what we're going to do is check that it's boiling. So uh, we'll have a thermometer in here. I think it's pretty obvious uh, when it is boiling. So there's our thermometer, uh, just quickly sketched. And then we're going to feed some heat energy in when it's boiling and find out how much energy is needed to turn a kilogram of that water into vapour, into steam. Now we won't do a whole kilogram because we'll be here all day, uh, but we'll do a few grams and then we can mathematically scale up for how much energy is needed for one kilogram to change state from boiling liquid to gas. Okay, I've got the apparatus here. So what we're gonna do is measure the starting mass of the whole system at the beginning, turn it on, leave it on for two minutes and it must be boiling for the whole of that time. It must be 100 degrees C for the whole time. And then after two minutes, we're going to see what the mass remaining is of the whole system. And then we can find out how much water we've lost by taking away the mass at the end uh, from the start and we'll see how many grams of water have turned into steam. Right, so I've put the mass at the start in from the experiment, the mass at the end, taken them away and converted it to kilograms. So uh, we lost um, 110 grams um, of water and that's now um, condensed and sort of on the windows of the laboratory. So let's work out uh, what the specific latent heat of vaporization of water is. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna move um, down here. So um, we've uh, needed uh, two, four zero 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 joules for our 0 0.11 kilograms so let's divide that by 0 0.110 and we get 
uh, if we do it on our calculator quickly, we get 2.18 megajoules per kilogram. And it's quite interesting if we compare that to uh, the textbook value. Um, the textbook value for the specific latent heat of vaporization of water is textbook. Uh, that gives us 2.26 megajoules per kilogram. I'll write it like that. Slightly better way of writing the units. So we're within uh, approximately 4% of the data book value. So we haven't done too badly there at all. Good, so I hope you enjoyed that experiment and you've got a good understanding now of how we could easily measure the specific latent heat capacity of vaporisation um, of a liquid. Have a look through my working and see that it makes sense, but I think it's a rather nice and simple experiment to do in the lab. I'm just sorry that you couldn't be here to do it yourselves, but I'll see you next time.